Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And then you will be able to test and approve what is the good and pleasing, perfect will of God. That's Romans 12, 2. I bring that up because we're so overly saturated with propaganda and brainwashing from the media, from all of entertainment culture, from the public school system. And these younger generations do not realize it. It's all they've known. And because so many parents are busy working nine to fives and they're not, they're not always clued in either. Unless you are in the word of God, you will remain a bit blind to what is really going on. I just want to play this clip. This is from a Korean defector who has been very outspoken in how awful it was and why everyone in Korea and all these other communist countries like Iran, El Salvador, want to escape to America. And now they're seeing the same underpinnings, the same brainwashing going on here that they saw beginning in their home countries that led to the tyrannical regimes that they had to live under. And they're trying to, to send warnings and warn the younger generations, but it's still falling on a lot of deaf ears. But listen to this clip and then we'll finish up. Hi, uh, I'm Alejandra. I'm from Venezuela and I experienced not the same uh, scenario, but obviously uh, the dictator over there, it's a friend of Kim Jong-un. And I was, I just have a question because um, the way I see the generation now is that they're so indoctrinated that there's pretty much no way to revert that damage that the left have caused. And do you think any possibility that we can change that in the near future, maybe? Yeah, thank you. Um, I, I definitely see that it's, I think, you know, like people from Venezuela, like Cuba or Iran and North Korea, none of them want to live under socialism. <laughs> That's why we escaped, and all these people living in democracy, they want to live, bring the socialism to this country. And the reason why I think they think that way is because of the American education system became a huge propaganda tool. It became an indoctrination camp, like North Korean schoolrooms. And I think once we realize what is getting into our children's minds, and also we realized how American media became liars and they became a propaganda tool as well. Once we see that and this hijacking of these big institutions, then I think we can change that. But first is definitely education that our children getting brainwashed and my son is too. I, I worry about that every day and people really don't understand how bad it got in, in this country right now. So I don't really see how people can refute that. You know, we live in such an entitled, blind, willfully and totally spiritually blind culture and younger generation, multiple generations, because they're just not taught the things that really matter. We're living in a time of the Romans versus the Pharisees, the pagan left versus the Pharisee right. The, there's no Jesus. If we want to know what's truth, we got to be in this. We got to be in the word of God. That's, that's the only thing that's going to transform our minds to reveal the perfect will of God. There's so many pastors who preach from the Bible, but who twist it and pervert it for their own agendas, for all sorts of other reasons that are not the perfect will of God. So if you are not in this word yourself, allowing it to transform your mind and heart and spirit, you will be deceived. It's not just the secular world. It's a lot there's been a lot of infiltration into the church, so you have to be in the Word of God yourself and let it transform your mind so that you are not conforming to this world and inviting in another regime that is going to continue impinging on our God-given, sovereign, unalienable rights that were protected in the founding of this country but are quickly dissipating as the leaders of this world who are serving the God of this world, who is Satan, to lead us into a one world government where the Antichrist can come in. So I pray that this resonates and that uh, you get in the word so that your mind is not conforming to the Antichrist agenda. God bless you. See you tomorrow.